Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Amanda here, and today we're going to talk about my favorite silver eyeshadows. These are mostly coming from palettes, but I do have one bonus 11th favorite silver that is a single eyeshadow shade. I've got my super shiny silver nail polish on and I'm ready to share my favorite silver eyeshadows with you. I love, love a super metallic, bright, foily, shiny silver eyeshadow. And I wanna share with you a few of my favorites from palettes just in case you might have some of these around. You may have them sitting, collecting a little bit of dust on your makeup shelf, and you may have just forgotten that they have some really awesome silver eyeshadow in there waiting for you. So this isn't necessarily to tell you to go out and buy a palette just because it has a great silver eyeshadow. It's more to remind you that you already have some great silver eyeshadows, and I'll share one single at the end. That way, if you do want to just add one great bright silver shadow to your collection, then I have a suggestion for that too. I have a wide variety of palettes here. Some are more indie, some are more mainstream. We've got a lot of different color stories, a lot of different price points, and we have even one drugstore option. I wanted to start with this palette from Kaleidos first because this is the only one that is no longer available, I believe. I guess it depends on when you watch this video too. I hope that what I'm saying is true right now. I did a quick search and it seems like all of these palettes except for this Kaleidos palette are still available. This is the Futurism 2 Cyber Bronze palette and a whole lot of the Futurism palettes have been discontinued, but this is such a beautiful, unique, well-balanced neutral palette in my opinion. You know me, I love a half shimmer, half matte palette, and this has some really impactful shimmers, especially this gorgeous, super smooth silver shade. This eyeshadow is called Plasma, and it just swatches like a dream. I won't talk for too long about this particular palette just because, like I said, this one's no longer available, but if you have it in your collection, this is your reminder to go dig it out and use this gorgeous silver and all of these interesting neutral shadows together. Now I wanna talk about a drugstore option. This is from Revolution. It's actually from their Halloween collection. This is the Twisted Fantasy palette. I did a review on this collection. I picked up a few pieces and one of the things that really stood out to me as I was reviewing this palette was how gorgeous some of these shimmers were. I particularly love this silver shade. They don't have shade names, they just have numbers. So you can see this one is shade number three. <laughs> Not a particularly compelling shade name, but I'm sure that I've heard worse. I really like a lot of these metallic shades in here. I love these silvery graphite and like grayish green black shades as well. They all work so well together, but this silver shade, shade number three, is so foily. You can just feel it as soon as you touch the shadow that it has that very thick metallic foily feeling. I really like shimmer shadows like that. I know not everybody prefers them. This is one of the more thick foiled type of shadows that we're going to look at today, but I really like that. I find that they just are very impactful on the lid, and I personally get a really good wear time out of this shadow and other more thick, chunky, foily shadows. This palette is only 12 US dollars, and for the shimmers alone, it is totally worth it, in my opinion. Oh, and by the way, it is a vegan palette, so safe for my vegan friends. Now let's move on to a very similar color story, but a very different price point and also different theming. The packaging on this one is really different, but it does have a shockingly similar color story to the Twisted Fantasy palette that we just looked at. This is the Urban Decay Naked Metal Mania palette. 
And look, I hadn't had a lot of stellar Urban Decay palette experiences over the last few years. I felt like particularly their shimmer quality just really was going downhill, at least for me. Maybe not everybody feels that way. But this Metal Mania palette, especially this silver shade called Spike Stud, is so gorgeous. I was shocked. I mean, my jaw dropped when I swatched this palette because I wasn't expecting the world from these. And I absolutely love this. I struggle to use any other shimmer in this palette because of how attracted I am to this silvery shade. We've got quite a few indie brand palettes to talk about now. I don't really consider ColourPop to be either drugstore or indie. It's just like a mainstream brand. I don't know what to call it. So we'll put those at the end. But these indie palettes, you already probably know, if you know anything about this channel, are what I am really excited by these days in the makeup world. And Fantasy Cosmetica has been one of my top brands to watch since they dropped a couple years ago. This fighter palette is one of my all-around favorites. Another exciting neutral color story, which we don't see that often. And this shade, Blade, is a stunning, more bluish silver. A lot of the silvers we're going to see today have that bright white feeling to them but Blade has a blue gray silveriness to it. It's not even what I would consider to be a deeper shade. It's definitely very light on the mid-tone scale but there's just something about this color that's really special. I know later you're going to see a moss watch and you're going to think silver is a silver and maybe you know that's probably possibly definitely accurate but this bluish silver is made for the cool tone loving people out there. If you are a cool tone lover, this is the silver for you. Now, if you are a rainbow lover, this Snow Dream palette from Odin's Eye, this was one of my favorites of the year last year, and it was one of my most frequently used palettes towards the end of the year, especially because of this shade called Frankincense. It doesn't look like much in the pan, especially on camera. It doesn't really translate, but this is a holographic sparkled silver shadow and it is not a thick, chunky holographic sparkle. It has a super fine, super smooth shimmer that runs throughout. It just swatches like a dream. It really has that thicker foily formula that I absolutely love and under the regular studio lighting here it just looks like yeah a bright gorgeous foiled silver but when you see this shade up close you can start to detect a hint of that little hollow shift you know me I'm gonna show you in different lighting what this looks like because I love staring at shiny things if you haven't already figured that out about me this shadow frankincense, just with the little bit of sunlight that was coming through my window, was already starting to show off. This isn't quite a direct sunlight situation because it is quite cloudy and dreary and rainy here today, but even that little bit of indirect sunlight was starting to give us a hint of what's to come. And then when you see this shadow with the camera flash on, it just goes crazy. All of those little rainbow sparkles just light up and it's a super fine sparkle. This really shows up on the eye when you put a decent amount of this on your lid. And sometimes I find that hollow glitter can get a little bit lost, but because of this silver foily vehicle that the rainbow glitter is being transported in, it just shimmers and shines and it makes me feel like a magical magical unicorn fairy princess which is how I demand to be addressed from now on. This next shadow okay you're gonna have to give me a break on this one. This is the Clarity Cosmetics Anaconda palette and I already know that some people are gonna say this doesn't count as a silver 
because it has a very taupey brown look to it. And you know, when you see it swatched with all the other really bright white and blue silvers, it does look quite taupey brown in comparison. But in the context of this palette, this shadow is really what ties it all together for me. I find myself always drawn towards this fang mail shade and the formula is always stunning. They have a very intense metallic formula in the Clarity Cosmetics pressed pigment palettes. I love a very, very intense shimmer, so this does it for me. Just in the context of this palette, this shadow should not be underestimated, and it immediately comes to mind for me when I think of favorite silvers because I think it ties all the shades together in this color story. I know, okay, don't yell at me if you think this is brown because after I swatched it, I was like, mm, maybe this shouldn't be in here, but it's too late. And also it is one of my favorite silvers. So what what can I do? Silverish. Let's talk about this Nomad palette. This is the Ghost Town USA palette. Another one of my favorites from last year. And this is such a beautifully curated set of shadows. I love love nomad shadows and this one called quicksilver is another one of the more bluish silvery shades i want to give an honorary shout out to the shade smoky quartz which is a deeper grayish silvery color but for me personally i just prefer this really bright foil looking metallic silver the chrome silver if you will I'm sure that's obvious at this point because you've seen me swatching virtually the same color over and over again. And guess what? We're going to do it some more. But there's so many good, beautiful, bright silvers out there. And we just, we all deserve to get a piece of them. I was of makeup wearing age when the Y2K girlies were going hard on silver eyeshadow. So I think that's where my obsession comes from. Everybody already knows that I'm a huge ColourPop fan. I have this very, very old palette. It's not called this anymore. They changed the name. It's now called Blow and Smoke. So ignore the front cover. The inside's still the same though. Mine has been through the ringer. This, like I said, is a very old palette. Just ignore that. ColourPop can make a darn good silver eyeshadow. Do they keep putting the same silver eyeshadow in a bunch of palettes? Yeah, kind of. Do I care? Absolutely not. I will eat it up every time. This shadow called Starstruck is where we're going to start because it's really the starting point for me. This was one of the first ColourPop silvers that really awakened my lust for silver eyeshadow or reawakened, I should say. And they have been feeding that graving ever since. This is definitely my favorite shadow in this palette. I don't really love all of the monochromatic gray and black otherwise. But a palette that I do love is this Troublemaker palette. This is still one of my top ColourPop palettes. I love the mixture of cooler tones, grays, purples, this gorgeous silver called Villain Era. It looks pretty much just like the other <laughs> ColourPop silvers that we're going to swatch, but I will tell you, this one, texture-wise, it feels a little bit thinner. It's not like it's weak or streaky. I mean, you can see for yourself, it's still very beautifully opaque and foily and metallic and bright, but it just has a little bit of a thinner, softer, almost lighter feeling to the touch. I know I'm not doing a good job of describing that and I apologize. <laughs> Let's scoot on over to our 10th and final palette. Not our final eyeshadow, but our final palette is the Stone Cold Fox palette. Another one of my top recommendations for ColourPop. I just love this one. As you can see, it has been plenty well used, loved, dirtied up. And this silver eyeshadow in here called Magnetic Moon is pretty much just as bright and foily. I feel like it's the same color from the Blow and Smoke palette. 
That does not stop me from loving it though. And certainly this one gets more use in my personal collection just because the Stone Cold Fox palette is one that I go to a lot for all of these neutrals and not just to pull that one silver shade. So, you know, I'm not mad about having multiples, obviously, but you definitely don't need both of these silver eyeshadows if you don't already have them sitting on the shelf. As promised, I gave you my top 10 silvers in eyeshadow palettes, but I do want to recommend one single eyeshadow to you as well. If you're not interested in any of these palettes, don't have them, don't want them, don't need them, but you just want one good, solid, bright, gorgeous silver. This is, you guessed it, a single from ColourPop. <laughs> this shade is called On a Whimsy. I double checked before I started filming this video. It is still available as a single on the ColourPop website if you just want one or if you want to build your own palette and throw that in there. This is the same stunning bright white see me from space at least see my eyelids from space type of silver eyeshadow that I have come to expect from ColourPop. So I did want to give a single eyeshadow recommendation just in case you needed it. I would love to hear what your favorite silver single shadows are. I don't really have a lot to choose from in my collection. I stay very satisfied with all of these many gorgeous and obviously extremely individually <laughs> important silver eyeshadows that I can find in my palettes. Look, I know that Clarity one is just sticking out like a sore thumb, okay? Give me a break because imagine how I would feel if all of these were completely ridiculously exactly the same color. <laughs> I have a type, okay? And Sometimes you just got to be able to laugh at yourself and that's really where I've landed at this point in the video, this point in the evening. I think we all just need to have a giggle about the fact that I have so many of these very, very similar silver eyeshadows. Let's look at a bit with the flash now because that frankincense shade demands it and I think you know, it only points out how much the Clarity Fang Mail shade really is a brownish taupe and not truly a silver, and the other ones are all pretty much identical. But, you know, I have all of these shadows that I can compare them and show them and recommend them so that you don't have to have all of them. You can just get one good silver, find the one that suits you the best, or maybe realize that you already have one that you haven't properly lusted over in a while already in your collection. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. It was just a little bit of lighthearted fun and an excuse for me to just ogle my silvers for a while. I would love to hear what your favorite silver eyeshadows are. Are you like me? a teenager of the late 90s, early 2000s that wore a lot of silver eyeshadow back in the day? Are you just now discovering your own love for silver? Tell me, do we have any of the same favorites? What do I need to try next? I always love to hear what you think about things too, so make sure you leave all of your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here, listening to me ramble, watching me swatch all of these extremely not identical silver shades. And I just hope you know that I love your face and I appreciate you. And I'm glad you're here and I'll see you real soon in the next one. Okay, bye.